Speaking of a bet that you're willing to lose, I know, I know we were talking about uh, on text earlier in the week about a, an MVP bet that you um, had liked in, in the in the in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't a fan. I didn't make any bets on this market before the season. Just all the numbers were too short. You go back to Mahomes winning 80 to 1 and Lamar winning like 75 to 1. I think the books got spooked and they just shrunk all these numbers. So I stayed away. But I finally saw something this week that I at least thought was interesting. I don't think this is like some great bet that's totally mispriced but brock purdy at 22 to 1 i can at least see a path where this team is maybe 14 and 3 who knows 15 and 2 um and, and if you've got a quarterback look we know it's a quarterback award we know it's a quarterback of a team that's going to win double digit games if you have a quarterback of like a 14 and through 15, 14 and 3 or 15 and 2 team he's going to have a chance and the narrative is there he was uh the last pick of the draft mr irrelevant uh he's won all these games if he gets to 15 and 2 i mean he's gonna be sitting there with a very gaudy record he doesn't have the huge stats in terms of passing yards but he's clean in terms of INTs. He's clean in terms of losses. And he's got a good offensive play caller he, in terms of Shanahan. He's got all the weapons under the sun. And you can just start looking at these other guys. Mahomes, maybe there's some voter fatigue. He has diminished weapons this year. Allen already has a four turnover game on Monday night. You know, Herbert's 0 2. Burrow's hurt. Lamar and two are injury prone. I could see a path where, two, where, where Purdy is at least like we look up in December and he's 4 to 1, 6 to 1, 8 to 1, something like that. So I just think at 22 to 1, there's a path there. And then at, at that long of a price, that's all you're really looking for. So I think Purdy's got a, a legitimate shot at MVP. I think he's a legitimate player. I think we're, we're past the point where he's just a good story. I think he's a really good player. I think this is real. You, you, got, you, got, a, you got a shake of the head over here. I looked out of the corner of my eye from. Uh... And the old tackle over here with, 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 the, with that wager. I mean, if the Niners win the NFC, the MVP is Brock Purdy, right? I mean, no one else on the team will be MVP, and that you're McCaffrey? basically betting on that, right? They're the best team in the NFC. Could it be McCaffrey? Be per- I don't think so. I mean, the, it's hard the to win the MVP when you only play 12, 12 games, games Bear. <laughs> 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 I don't think I don't think he'll get the numbers to, to be the MVP. I mean, you have to rush for 2,000 yards and have an historic season to right. be the MVP at running back historically. And so that's Always not going to happen with too. all the weapons they have. And, and, and you get hurt a couple games or, you know, they've talked about limiting his workload as well, which did happen in week one, but I think we'll start seeing his workload be limited, especially like if they're, you know, in, and we're recording this on Thursday, if they're a big tonight, they'll take him out of the game. Like right? there's no reason to play him in the fourth right. quarter. So he won't get the numbers and Purdy will play obviously the, the, the entire game. And if they win the story of him as well, it's a good wager. Are we I'm, also I'm just wait. looking down this get go, go ahead, Sammy. Go, go. Can we finally cut the crap on this Dan Campbell coach of the year? Like, how do you win coach of the year when you're not a good coach? (laughs) Not even a good coach. Mike McDaniel, much better coach. Arthur Smith, much better coach. Like after they beat the chiefs, we were basically handing him the coach of the year trophy. He's not even a good coach. Can we cut it? Please. Matt Nagy won this award though. Keep that in mind. (laughs) <laughs> it, 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 it's so funny though because i'm sitting here thinking it about everything and you brought up mike mcdaniel like are the dolphins just like the, not the biggest winner of everything that's happened so far yeah. early in this season with with the bills going down uh, to, to the jets and then uh, the chub injury and burrow being hurt like everything around teams like the dolphins that in theory would be competing Rogers with being a wild card or in the division yeah it, it, it it's amazing how everything's kind of broken right for the dolphins and, and we always have to use the uh, if Tua stays healthy, but that offense looks looks really good, and it, it's an interesting game on Sunday against a, a desperate Broncos team. That it, again, it would be perfect NFL for the Broncos to have blown that twenty-one three lead, go on the road to South Florida and, and compete, and maybe even pull an upset against Miami. But. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.